Hey guys, it's Chris. From creatures of great power to ones that almost caused the extinction of the world, join me as I show you 12 of the scariest creatures that lived before dinosaurs. Number 12, Mega Neuropsis. The biggest insect that is known to the world comes not from the present day, but from the prehistoric times ranging from about 250 to 300 million years ago. It was known as the Mega Neuropsis. Fossils found of these creatures showed that they very much resembled dragonflies that you can find today. The big difference, though, was that they could be well over two feet in length in regard to their wingspan. The biggest question about these creatures wasn't their size, but rather how they got to be that size especially considering that no bugs on Earth today come close to that length, even when measuring wingspan. So what made the Earth so different 300 million years ago to let them evolve to that size, but shrink down to what they are now in the modern age? It's believed that it was the oxygen in the atmosphere dictating the size, but it's unknown for sure if that was the reason. Various fossils of this creature have been found, including an offshoot called Meganeuropsis americana in 1940 in Oklahoma. Number 11. Mosasaurus. In the film Jurassic World, there was a sideshow scene where the people are treated to watching a massive creature emerge from the water and eat a large meal in seconds flat. This was the movie version of the Mosasaurus, a massive creature from the ancient waters of the prehistoric world. While it does share a part of its name with dinosaurs, Mosasaurus was actually a reptile that was known for swallowing entire prey whole, which is likely where the film got the inspiration to do that scene. However, their teeth were advanced enough to ensure that they could chew their food if they wanted. In terms of length, the Mosasaurus was around 56 feet on average, and were more robust in various areas compared to others of its species. Weirdly enough, it was the first of its species to be found when a skull was discovered in St. Petersburg. Number 10. Dunkleosteus. This is the Dunkleosteus, which was a fish so terrifyingly strong that it may have had a bite that was more powerful than anything on Earth before or since. To give you some reference on how powerful its bite was, research on the fish has made scientists think that it had a raw biting power of a T. rex, one of the most powerful dinosaurs ever. Part of the reason for its power is the fact that this fish was armored from top to bottom, which would add to its mass and weight, thus allowing more bite power. A power that's believed to exert 1,300 pounds per square inch of force. However, that's not the limit of its power, for that's just the measurement that they use to figure out the power of the tip of its tooth. Its full mouth strength is unknown, but guessed at 1,600 pounds. Dunkleosteus were the apex predators of their habitat. They were 33 feet in length and weighed 4 tons. Eventually, nature wiped them all out, and that led to the rise of sharks and other such sea monsters. Number 9. Gorgonopsia Incorrectly defined as mammal-like reptiles, Gorgonopsid were one of the true terrors before the dinosaurs arrived. Yet despite us knowing what they looked like in terms of their body shape via bones, we still know precious little about them. What we do know is that they were over 20 feet long and had massive girth to them. However, they were also quite fast and agile, and were able to sink their massive fangs of which some species had more than one set into their foes. Their appearance has caused quite a bit of debate as to whether they were reptiles who evolved mammalian qualities or whether they were mammals who had reptilian qualities. But the somewhat common consensus is that they were the ancient ancestors of many mammals, including cats via their teeth. There were many species of Gorgonopsia, and each had their own unique attributes. In the Permian period of the ancient world, about 300 million years ago, they were the apex predators. In the modern world, they're actually more known to the public than one might think, as they were the inspiration for the movie Primeval. Number 8. Terror Birds Just like there are birds in the modern day that can't fly, 62 million years ago there was a similar thing, as terror birds roamed the land. Their more scientific name is Phosphoracids, but the intent is all the same. They were large, flightless birds that existed on Earth for about 61 million years. They ranged from 3 to 9 feet in height and actually were the largest apex predator in South America during their lifespan. Their bodies were very mismatched, for they had large, heavy heads, and their necks may have appeared short, but they were actually very long and flexible. This allowed them to deal massive damage to their foes when they struck, which they could do with impressive speed. 
One of their descendants was found in North America, leading to speculation that the terror birds could have come to North America in a great migration known as the Great American Interchange. In fact, it was also believed for a while that the terror birds might not have died because of natural factors or predators, but because of humans. However, fossil remains later proved this notion to be false by many, though some still contend that the terror birds existed longer than many are stating including people in Paraguay, who claim to have found more recent fossils of them from as little as 17,000 years ago. Weirdly, how the terror birds died out is a bit of a mystery. We know they died out about 1.8 million years ago, but there is much speculation as to how. Big theories included natural causes, or the new conditions of their lands via the Great American Interchange, which could have brought brand new predators to challenge them and thus lead to their extinction. Number 7. Arthropleura Insects may be small in the modern world, but 360 plus million years ago, they weren't as such, and the Arthropleura is a great example of that. This is the ancestor to the millipede, with one big exception, its size. The size of the Arthropleura was around 8.5 feet in length at maximum, and its width was said to be between 1 to 2 feet. This product of the Carboniferous era was actually a vegetarian, and scientists believe it actually liked to feast on dead plants more than anything else. Despite their 8 plus feet in length, the ability to move their bodies and legs as one rhythmic unit has led scientists believe that this was actually one very fast and very agile insect, to the extent that it could use all of its legs to get out of a situation far quicker than any of the descendants it would later have. To this day, the Arthropleura are the largest invertebrates ever documented by man, which is a feat given the size of certain insects and other such creatures from the past. Yet scientists are still curious about this creature, for they feel there's much more to know about it. Number 6. Helicoprion Found 290 million years ago, the Helicoprion was a shark with a deformed mouth that was actually incredibly unique due to its shape. You see, this shark had a set of teeth on it via its mouth that made it resemble a circular saw. It didn't move like one, mind you, but the look of it was distinct. And in fact, many fossils found of the creature are actually of its mouth. Funnily enough, the Helicoprion honestly wasn't as big as many sharks. In fact, its average size was only about 15 feet. However, despite its small size, it was incredibly resilient. Because not only did it last in the earliest days of Earth, it was one of the 10% of life on Earth that have withstood the Permian-Triassic extinction. Due to the age of the creature as well as its unique mouth, it's actually relatively unknown what it ate, or how much it ate, as well as its hunting patterns and its personality. Number 5. Estaminosuchus The thing that draws most people to the Estaminosuchus is the shape of its skull. It is without a doubt one of the most interesting skull types in history. In fact, the very shape of its skull helped it earn its name, because Estaminosuchus means crowned crocodile in Greek. Regardless, the Estaminosuchus existed 267 million years ago, and were believed to have roamed the parts of ancient Russia. It only grew to be about 10 feet long, but its skull was what truly set it apart. It has horns, but not in the way or style you'd expect. They were more rounded, and just as important, they weren't made in the same way that creatures like moose, deer, or even other dinosaurs had their horns or antlers made. Just as odd were that the teeth they had in their mouths were very mismatched upon first inspection. They had large, pointed teeth at the front of their mouths, but at the back, they had small, rounded teeth. Some feel that this is a sign they were omnivores of their time period. Number 4. Lyopleurodon the Liopleurodon was a big creature in the water, but there is a big debate between scientists whether this massive creature was only 20 feet or actually 50 feet if not longer. The BBC series Walking with Dinosaurs used certain evidence to depict it as 80 plus feet long, though many have discredited this series because the findings were based on fragmentary evidence. But one thing that all scientists are able to agree on is that the Liopleurodon had some pretty terrifying teeth. In fact, its mouth was full of long, sharp, and pointy teeth. What makes the Liopleurodon the most interesting in terms of science is that their arms and legs, or fins, were more shaped like paddles than anything else. Scientists now believe that the Liopleurodon may not have been the fastest creature in the ocean, but it was rather nimble and agile, and able to pull off some quick bursts of speed due to its uniquely shaped fins. This is something that many creatures following the extinction of the Liopleurodon have gotten, including ones that don't have fins at all. These fins made it a first-strike predator. 
which made it a terror when it lived over 139 million years ago. Number 3. Sarcosuchus Existing at around 112 million years ago, the Sarcosuchus is affectionately known as the Supercroc, and for very obvious reasons, not the least of which is that this mammoth creature is double the size of most modern crocodiles, coming in at about 40 feet long. There is a single problem with that nickname, though. The Sarcosuchus actually isn't a crocodile. It is a relative of them, though, just not a direct one which might explain why they aren't around anymore in the form of descendants, while more mainline crocodiles are. The Sarcosuchus wasn't just long, it was heavy, for it weighed 8 metric tons. The very first fossils of the creature were actually found in the Sahara Desert during an expedition by Albert Félix de la Parent, a French paleontologist between 1946 and 1959. Then, in 1964, a complete skull of them was discovered. Yet it wasn't until the year 2000 when enough bones of the Sarcosuchus had been found to give scientists a better picture of what exactly they were looking at. There's been much speculation as to what the Sarcosuchus would have eaten. However, it did eventually live with the dinosaurs and its size would have guaranteed that it could have challenged and eaten a great deal of them. Number 2. Asdarkid a family of pterosaur, which many refer to as pterodactyls, the Asdarkid was a breed of flying creatures that lived around 140 million years ago. However, what separates the Asdarkid from the rest of the pterosaur family is not their age or their appetite, it's their size and body proportions. When you think of the pterosaur, you think of creatures that use their wings to fly and get foes. But Asdarkid didn't do that or so scientists believe, their bodies had really long legs, as well as a long neck and just as long beaks. In comparison, their bodies are really small. So though they did have wings, most scientists speculate that they either didn't or couldn't use them. Instead, they would just walk around on all fours and pick up any prey they wanted with an extension of their beak and neck. Measuring from their feet to the top of their head, the Asdarkid measured in at around 20 feet tall, but their wingspans could have easily been double that. And there is one case in Bavaria that is said to have an Asdarkid that could have had a wingspan of 66 feet, and if so, that would make it the largest flying animal ever recorded. Number 1. Cyanobacteria Oxygen is without a doubt one of the most important things in our atmosphere. Without it, we could not breathe. So it's hard to imagine atmosphere without it. Yet 2.5 billion years ago, when the Earth was still incredibly young, oxygen was only a very minor part of the atmosphere. So along came cyanobacteria, a microscopic creature who learned a technique that almost wiped out all life on Earth. That technique was photosynthesis. Yeah, but isn't photosynthesis a good thing, you might be asking? Well, in our version of Earth, yes. But 2.5 billion years ago, the world didn't have a need for lots of oxygen. Anoxic bacteria was not only fine with it, they could die if there was too much of it. So when cyanobacteria came along and started pumping oxygen into the atmosphere via its photosynthesis, the bacteria and other microorganisms started to die out. That actually included cyanobacteria, because the oxygen they were pumping out started to change the atmosphere, which affected their process. Not only that, the extra oxygen in the atmosphere caused the Huronian glaciation, which basically froze the world and its waters for an incredible amount of time. Life did endure, though, and now cyanobacteria and plants are vital to the Earth's survival. Many consider this the first mass extinction event, and it goes to prove just how much the Earth has changed since the beginning of its life to where it is now. And as for the cyanobacteria, this tiny little thing almost ended our planet many times over, making it a creature that was far more dangerous and deadly than any dinosaur that ever lived. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these creatures that were scary even before the dinosaurs came around? Which do you think were the scariest of the ones shown? Do you know of any other creature that could have been on the list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List before you leave, and I'll see you next time.